Hello Virgos, this is Tara Queen Jamila here to do your single uh, true love reading for March, April, May of 2018. Uh, so as you can see, I already got your cards laid out here. You got a couple of major arcanas. Um, I, um, I did things a little bit different to where I laid out your cards before I turned on the camera. So I'll be doing that quite often. Just, uh, just gets, it just, I don't know, it makes it easier. Um, and uh, then also it saves time in the video. I'm using the Barbara Walker tarot deck. I hope that you enjoy this deck. Welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you need a private reading, the link to my website is below. Um, I do offer spell work also. So if you're interested in that, you can go and get a consultation. Okay. All right. So we're going to look at your future true love and Virgo, your future true love. You got the four of pentacles. Okay. So I'm not surprised to see this card come up. A lot of you single Virgos are, this is the card of maybe possible narcissism, you know, selfishness when you're putting your love life on the back burner. So I feel like a lot of you single Virgos, if you are single, if you look at this spread, you can see sort of what's happening here. So I will tell you that Looking at the Four of Pentacles as your future true love card kind of scares me for those of you that are single. You seem to have held on to some insecurities and you're allowing those insecurities to cause you to remain single. So a lot of you have sort of decided, you know, I don't mind being single for the rest of my life is what a lot of you have said. Um, so I will tell you that uh, I, I just want to ask for clarification on this Four of Pentacles because I, it kind of scares me to think that like um, for a majority of you Virgos, you're going to have, um, like maybe it's not going to happen between the next three months, okay, March, April, or May. I'm going to ask Spirit to give me some clarity on Four of Pentacles. Okay, so the Two of Pentacles and then the Six of Wands. So yeah, you're sort of sacrificing your love life for, eh? no, I don't think that you should. I mean, yeah, you've got all these responsibilities at work, but you've got to make time for love. You can't just give up on it. Um. What I do see for a lot of you is you waiting on that long lost love to return. <laughs> Just to let you guys know, I'm seeing that. Um, and so that's why you're sort of not looking. You sort of barricaded yourself off a little bit. And you, you know, especially you're a workaholic, Virgo. So you're really, really just kind of, you know, just, you know, you've decided to get fulfillment elsewhere. But I will tell you that I see either an earth sign, Virgo, or a fire sign, okay? Just looking at this reading, uh, that you may be reuniting with during these months, March, April, May. Um, now, will the attraction be instant? Oh, first of all, let me just say this. I do think that for some of you Virgos, you're going to meet somebody sometime in June. Okay. It, j just to let you guys know that I see it happening more so towards June. Okay. So if it don't happen within the next three months, don't be surprised <clears throat> that maybe you won't get with this person in the month of June. Okay. Because let me ask spirit spirits. What are you seeing happening in the month of June? I don't know why I'm seeing something happening in the month of June. Okay, see, the star card comes up. So I feel like that is when you're going to be feeling really good and inspired to find new love. Also, the star card does represent hope. It represents healing. So I definitely do feel that that is what, you know, a lot of you Virgos are having uh, coming up in the month of either June. Yeah. 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 Now, will the attraction be instant? 
the answer is yes. I feel like it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. Everything's going to change. You know, almost like <laughs> Jacob. Oops. Sorry, guys. Almost like Jacob in uh, Twilight. Okay, the way that they would imprint. <laughs> It'll, you know, so I feel like this person is definitely going to get your attention. You're definitely going to be paying close attention to them. Uh, it is going to cause a huge change. Sorry, I had to close that window. It's freezing out there. So, yeah, and also the tower does represent fate. Uh, this thing being unavoidable. Um, also, some of you might end up with an air sign, in particular Aquarius, or it could be could be any sign, just to let you guys know, okay? Um, a lot of you Virgos, I do feel as though you are reuniting with a, uh, either it could possibly be a twin flame, but I will tell you that I'm seeing all kinds of challenges, Okay. Uh, now, what will this person be like? They come up as the world card. So they're doing a lot of traveling, Virgo. Um, they're a go-getter. It's nothing wrong with that. Um, I feel like they have a very good balance. I feel like they're very balanced. Um, you know, this is a person that seems to be very complete, within themselves, so confidence within themselves. And I feel like that might be where the problem is because as you can see, we got the seven of wands as the challenge and then the seven of cups coming up next to it. So uh, seven of wands represents there being some kind of obstacle in front of you. I feel like it may be the person traveling Okay, for their job. If they live close to you, they're traveling for their job and it sucks. And they're going to actually not like it either once they meet you because, you know, Virgos are typically the types that will, you know, they're kind of in that same place. They will travel, but I feel like a lot of you Virgos are in a place where you're just ready to kind of settle down and rest. And this person is sort of still trying to go places. Uh, you know, and they're doing it for their job, okay? Or another scenario is that um, there is a challenge with uh, them living in another place. Them, they may be distant from you. So maybe they may live an hour away or more, okay? So, so definitely can feel that, you know, a lot of you Virgos, especially with the star card coming up, I kind of feel as though you're going to meet them either on a dating site or you're going to meet them online somewhere. And, you know, definite instant attraction, instant feelings for them. Um, now, what will help you is the seven of cups comes up. So I feel like this is where you need to be clear. You need to know what you want, Virgo. And I feel like a lot of you single Virgos, you're not exactly sure what you want because you know that you do want this person that I do see coming up, but I feel like you don't want them to be out there traveling for their jobs or, you know, or it's, it's the location or the distance between the two of you. Um, also, the Seven of Cups does represent being a daydreamer and just daydreaming a lot and not realizing your dreams and the things that you want, but just sort of saying that you want it, but then not actually getting it. And then also not being honest with yourself. So the Seven of Cups could represent where you sort of, you know, may, maybe maybe some dis, may, maybe some self-delusion or something. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you feel like you're doing something that you're actually not with the Seven of Cups. I feel like it does have to do with your ability to be emotionally supportive. Okay, so I, you know, a long distance relationship does require a lot of emotional support. So I definitely do sort of see sort of a long distance relationship, especially with the hanged man. So when, where, or how will you meet? 
uh, and you get the hanged man. So I feel like the hanged man represents where, you know, you may meet, um, feel like definitely it's online. You can see definitely a lot of you Virgos meeting this person online. Um, I feel like also the hanged man could represent where you're meeting this person through a mutual acquaintance. Okay, and maybe there's some negative energy surrounding that. I'm going to throw some clarifiers on the hanged man. Spirit, give me some more clarity about how, where, or when Virgo will meet that person. Okay, temperance and the eight of pentacles. So I'm kind of seeing... May, sometime in May is what I'm seeing, okay, with the Eight of Pentacles coming up, Temperance comes up as far as, you know, when or where. Now, first of all, let me see what I believe. Um, give me a second. Okay, give me a second here. I want to see something. feel like it's definitely going to be because a lot of you uh, Virgos are experiencing and I don't want to say financial difficulty, but I feel like it's where you're going through a financial awakening, some kind of phase, some kind of shift or move in direction. OK. Uh, OK, so it's associated with is it Pisces? Yeah, the hanged man is, I believe, associated with the Pisces. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I feel like it could, I, I feel like you could definitely meet that person during the month of March. But I feel like temperance comes up. Temperance is associated with, um, I believe temperance is associated with Aquarius. Okay, so it may be associated with Aquarius. And, uh, oops, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Look up the temperance zodiac. Okay. So temperance is related to the Sagittarius. Okay. So possibly when the moon is in Sagittarius, I can definitely see it around a full moon. Okay. Definitely feel like it's a full moon and it may be in the month. It could be between any time between that time. I think that it would depend on you. It would depend on, you know, how often you get out, where you're at. As far as where, again, I'm sensing online, um, especially with the temperance card coming up, because this kind of kind of lets me know that maybe there's going to be some kind of weight, you know, for any physical contact, possibly with the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Anyway, I can't really see it any clearer than that because... It is a general reading, okay? So, like I said, I do feel like it is a couple of months off just because the temperance card comes up, but I feel like it's largely going to depend on, I feel like it's going to depend on you and what you do, Virgo, okay? I feel like the ball is in your court, especially with this seven of wands. You know, you've been sort of stuck. You've been sort of stuck in the house. You've been stuck at work. You've been either stuck at work or stuck at the house. So 
that's kind of why it has been taking longer for you to meet because and especially with these two sevens showing up does kind of show some blockages okay so you can definitely contact me if you want to remove those blockages thank you so much for watching virgo uh again make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, the little bell notifier so that you can know when i upload a new reading or video uh, if you need me to uh, to give you a personal reading or other spiritual services, the link to my website is below, okay, in the video description box. Thank you so much for watching. Blessed be.